I've always wanted to continue learning and being curious. People in other states and other areas see what we're doing back here on campus and say, boy, I wish I could take part in that. Lectures, forums, and dialogues. And the 21-2 would be the Wisconsin Channel, and 11 a.m. would be the University Place. I think we've just scratched the surface with the University Place. In the early years of television, viewers were faced with a bewildering number of choices. In furniture. You ain't not but, but TV set manufacturers were not limited the way TV stations were. With only one channel per station, programs had to appeal to a broad audience. And so early on, television stations simply had no time for specialized content. How unfortunate it was that so few people were able to view the lectures at the time. Now, digital broadcasting allows TV stations to deliver multiple channels. This is called multicasting. With multiple channels, stations have much more room to show targeted programs. We've got the technology in place to really take advantage of the wonderful programs that are taking place around the state. For Wisconsin Public Television, multicasting is an opportunity to broadcast important and exciting lectures given at the University of Wisconsin in a new service called University Place. So that's the great thing about the technologies that are emerging. They allow us to provide information access in ways that we've not been able to do before to put on programs that really are of importance to the public. The potential to be able to touch the number of people we can touch through University Place can't be equaled in the old way that we were doing programming. Obviously, if the boundaries of the university are the boundaries of the state, then every one of us has an obligation to reach out into the state and to connect with our stakeholders, our citizens. I wanted to have continuing access to the kind of exciting ideas that exist and are developed at a university. In collaboration with partners from various UW departments and campuses, lectures are videotaped and then broadcast on one of Wisconsin Public Television's four digital channels, the Wisconsin Channel. In fact, my wife and I, for a couple of years now, have given substantial personal donations to encourage specifically the recording of lectures on campus and finding ways to get them out for others to see. I have a 42-inch digital television at home because I find that they're fascinating to me. The lectures are also streamed on the Wisconsin Channel's website. You have the potential of tapping into wonderful things that are happening at various campuses in the UW. University Place lectures range from health to history, science to art to how children learn language, to stem cells, to hurricanes. Eventually, Wisconsin Public Television and its partners at the UW will amass a huge database of lectures and other university content, which will be available to anyone, anytime, on the internet. For repeats or for on-demand viewing. Just recently, I uh, was watching University Place and discovered some lectures that I didn't even realize were being given. We have held the commitment to the Wisconsin idea. In fact, in front of my building is a bronze plaque and labeled agrarian democracy to signify that we were invented to be a fundamental support to the citizens of Wisconsin in a vibrant, functional democracy. Years ago, the art of television may have been all wrapped up in furniture. Today, we've gone beyond the single channel. With digital broadcasting and multicasting, which have expanded the possibilities for delivery of all kinds of exciting and educational programs. Then we've, we've eternalized it and we'll be able to broadcast it and broadcast it again. 